Hey guys, what's going on? Carl here, back with another episode, checking out another studio upgrade today, even though technically it is a countdown less than a month ago till my new spot. From one of my last videos, you can probably tell I have a new iMac setup, but of course there used to live three monitors. Those were ultra wide, and the biggest thing that I was missing, especially having a 5K panel, is just having that high resolution, having something that's at least four or 5K. It's the clarity, it's the crispiness, I miss that. And we are looking at my replacement today. <laughs> Before we get into the monitor, the announcements for the LG Gram are live as of right now, so go check Instagram. Do it, do it right now. I've just announced the winner. Check it out. And if any of you want to see this guy being given away, I will hopefully try to work with LG. I think they're a bit too big to ship myself. Fingers crossed, just be sure to sub to the channel as always. I try to hook you guys up every single video. Of course, leave a comment down below what you would use this guy for, and I will hopefully let you know in one of my next episodes. It was just the clip. I didn't break it, I promise. So this here is the LG 27 UK 854K panel. And as I said, the thing that I was missing the most was the crispiness of having a 4K panel. The ultra wides probably look like a doper setup. I won't even lie, but I did want something a bit more practical as I didn't really use either screen two or three most of the time. I was really only focused on one monitor Maybe if I had some more free time, I could obviously use those other screens. But I've been using this guy right now and I've absolutely loved it. And the best part is it hooks up to my MacBook Pro with just one cable USB-C. We will take my new MacBook. Let's open that puppy up, boot this guy on. Look at that, like magic. So for me, like I said, the biggest selling point was just having this guy hook up directly with one USB-C cable. It just makes the desk setup so much cleaner, having to worry about less cables. Cable management, it's not my strong point, most of you know. So let's quickly talk about the design first. What I love, of course, almost bezel-less, very minimal across three sides. We've got the small black chin underneath with, of course, LG branding. Underneath on the stand, we've got the classic LG curve, which is very reminiscent of the older models that I had, as well as the LG TV sitting in my living room. We've got another silver piece here. I believe this is metal, maybe coated with plastic, and of course that little clip at the back to cable manage your monitor. I've only got two cables, quite simple, and I didn't break it. Trust me. One of the biggest features to this guy is HDR10. So high dynamic range, 10 bit. So if you've got playable HDR content like games, like movies, heck, even my Sony A7R 3s record in HDR, you can play them back on this screen. It's got a plethora of different settings which you can access from this little knob underneath. It's like a little joystick. There you can change, say, your gaming settings, how colors look on this guy. The majority of the time that I'm using this guy paired with my MacBook, maybe even 100%, I am spending using Final Cut editing these YouTube videos. So I made sure it was an IPS panel and it covers 99.6% of the sRGB spectrum. So my colors are on point. So for gaming wise, I wouldn't classify this as a professional grade gaming monitor, but I can say for 99% of us out there, it will get by just fine. I'm usually just mucking a bit of Fortnite, maybe StarCraft 2. I did almost reach Masters League. That was my professional gaming scene back in the day. If any of you played CS 1.6, that's probably the game that took most of my time back in the day. 1.6 peeps. But overall, I've been super happy with this monitor. As I said, into my workflow, one USB-C cable, mostly just doing video editing. And I do promise, I swear to it, this will be my very, very last upgrade until I move to the new studio spot. I did though have a couple questions that you guys were asking on Twitter and Insta. Let's answer those quickly before we wrap up this video. Kevin, are you going to incorporate this into a setup? Absolutely, as I said, I know you guys love my setup videos in the new spot. Kevin, I know you're looking forward to that video. AJ William, are you playing Fortnite on it? Every once in a while, I do suck at Fortnite. I will leave my info down below. Don't judge me, 
Xbox is where I really shine. Kenrick, cost, good color gam gamut, I'm assuming, and contrast. As I said, it is industry standard, 99.6% in the sRGB spectrum. Cost, it's 750 bucks, and of course has very good contrast. Mattia and Amal had similar questions. Is it the best bang for your buck slash is it worth it? And honestly, for a 4K panel with USB-C support, it's one of the best options that you can grab. My older ones, the 38 inch ultra wides didn't even have USB-C and those ones were 1300. So max.fis, is it like the ultra fine one for the max? Um, I think this is better. Mind you, the ultra fine is a 5K panel, so sharper, but can you really tell the difference between four and 5K? And the fact that this is almost half the price than that 5K ultra fine, I would go for this guy for sure. Anyways, that should be it now for Q&A time. If you still got more questions, leave them down below and I will stick around to try to answer most of them. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, I'm trying to work with LG to ship one of these out to one of you peeps. So keep your fingers crossed, hit that like button, and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.